It's time now to meet this week's Great Britain. And the Great Britain this week is Natalie Bailey, uh, well-deserving of the term, I have to say. When she was younger, Natalie got caught up, uh, in her own words, with the wrong crowd and found herself partying every night uh, to mask low self-esteem and depression. And realising things needed to change, Natalie took stock and managed to turn her life around. She's now a confidence coach who works with entrepreneurs and business owners and has a successful business herself, a property development company that she runs with her mum. She joins me now. Good evening, Natalie. Good evening. Thank you very much for having me. It's a pleasure. It, it sounds, and um, you wouldn't mind me saying you were leading a bit of a self-destructive lifestyle for a while there. Very. Um, in that world, it looks like you're living your best life and you surround yourself with the people that seem to be having the best life. But mm -hmm. actually what I was doing was masking that depression and loneliness because I moved to Magaluf on my own. Um, literally just quit my job, got on a plane and was like, I'm going to do this for three months and where are we? I, I still live in Mallorca now. But being around the wrong people, um, it was very, very difficult. Like, you know when you have those people that just phone you because they want something from you? Mm -hmm. And you're able to do that? So there so you was... Had to, you had to adopt a certain character and a certain behaviour yeah. just to keep the whole thing going. To keep the whole thing going and masking what I was masking with fake confidence. Whereas now I've been able to really dig into myself and understand how to change that and have a real level of confidence. What prompted the change? You know, what did, 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 you, did you literally wake up one morning and think, um, I've had enough of kind this? Kind of. A few, a few of my friends were arrested and... Um, and that was a huge wake-up call to me because I thought, I can't go down this route anymore and have to make that call to my mum because, obviously, I love my mum and, and, and my dad. And what, what did you do? I mean, obviously, you were in the midst of a lifestyle that was, that was self-destructive. Yeah. So how did, how did you go about Changing. turning it into something positive? I had to think what was the complete opposite of what I was doing. Um, and I had a chat with my nan. Um, and we went and retrained as a personal trainer. So when I did that, I did that. I did the exercise referral diploma as well as the life coaching course to go with it. Because I thought if I can use this for good, then I can really help people. Um, but ultimately helping myself. Like when you look after your physical health, you look after your mental health and you feel so much better. And I realised that that's what I needed to do. And I'm, I'm interested in the fact that it was your mum and your nan <laughs> that were instrumental. It was yeah. family. Yeah. You know, you had made whatever else was going on, you still had that support network from your family that were, really, that were yeah. able to pull you out of what you were in. Yeah, like, I'm really close with my mum and my dad. Like, Saturday is, is normally with dad football. That's, that's what we do together. And, like, with my mum, because we now work together as well, we have a very close bond. So when my nan passed away, we realised that we needed to do something to build a legacy together um, to be able to give back because I didn't want to get to the end of my life and think, I wish I'd done this, I wish I'd done that. So family and community is very, very important. And tell me about the nature of what it is that you're doing because it's, you, it's a combination, I take it, this confidence coaching yeah. and also the, the property development. How is that working So out? when we got into property, we've, we've just completed a 30-unit conversion. So we took a decommissioned care home. Is this in Mallorca? This is in England. Oh, this is in England, right? Yeah, so we do the property stuff in England. But I realised from doing pop property trainings and talking to entrepreneurs that there was something missing. And the thing that people held back with, with things like social media, the confidence to call agents, not having enough belief in themselves that they could go and do something, which made me tap back into what I learned when I was a PT and coaching people then to create what we do now, which is health, wealth and happiness. Because you need all of those things. I call it the triangle of life. Um, because it helps you to find yourself rather than, like, getting lost in the Bermuda Triangle. It's, it's, it's always... It's, it, it's quite simple in, at the end of the day, isn't it? It's about, hopefully, getting support from family and simple things like, like confidence and that, that, just that determination to turn things around. That's where the opportunity well, it does, comes right? from, Well, it, it comes from... I mean, it comes from, you know, if you don't mind me flattering you, it comes from strength of character. Thank you. And uh, that is something that's been inculcated in you through your family. 
and, um, uh, and your experiences and, and, and the choice that you made not to go down that path anymore, mm -hmm. which is a very difficult thing to do if, you're, if, you, if, if that's the way you've been for several years. Yeah. Um, but I think it's, I mean, it's a fantastic story and I think yes. a huge example to other people. Uh, how, say, look, it can be done. How is it, though, working with your mum? Because that's not going to be <laughs> ideal for just everyone, I don't think. It, it took a little while for us to work out who needs to do what. Um, and then also have family time that's not business time because otherwise you do just get embroiled in, in stuff and we snap, we would snap at each other. But we've got a really good relationship now where it does work and part of that is being able to lean on each other for support because ultimately the people you surround yourself with make all of the difference. So that's why community to me now is so important. And tell me about the confidence coaching. How do people, how do people come to you? How do you make contact with those who need that um, help? So I have a podcast, which is called Confidence Mastery, and it was three years old this week, so 150 episodes. Um, actually had Charlie Sansom on it. He says hello, by the way. All oh, right, yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, so through that, through lots of social media, I do public speaking, so, like, travelling the country and just basically by putting myself out there and demonstrating the lifestyle that I teach people. It's a massive turnaround. I mean, really, you know, when you talk about what you were... You know, you didn't go into too much detail, but a self-destructive lifestyle. Yeah. And now you're in a position where you're in property development and you're helping other people to turn their lives around as well. It's yeah. a massive credit to you. Thank you. So... In, the, like, in those moments, like, being around the wrong people and living that kind of lifestyle, it, it did hurt because you're not in a place where you can get the help that you need because it's a constant circle. So having that catalyst for change and being able to do something better and because I've been there and been through it and I've been depressed and I've been lonely, um, and if you think about the last three years as well, we've all been pulled away from each other and... If you are lonely or depressed and, you, you know, you need help, ask for it. Yes. Because if you don't ask, you never get. Yeah, take mm. that first step. Well done, Natalie Bailey. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you Sit for having that. me. You've brightened up the evening and you're definitely the Great Britain, so thank you so much. Thank you very much. Keep doing what you're doing. I will do. <laughs>